time for my 57th John Carpenter game. What's Be Millionaire? The Real Cash Prize Edition for the DVD. To get started, select the difficulty and category. Press I'll go play. Adore Tim, please. Great, you're having a go at answering the entertainment questions. Only 15 of them stand between you and the chance to bag some real cash prizes. So, let's get the first five questions out of the way and try to bank you a guaranteed virtual thousand pounds. Okay. Take a look at your first question for 100 pounds. Okay. Which year show is hosted by Roy Castle? Record Breakers, CD Shakers, Vinyl Takers, Tape Clips. That'd be Record Breakers. I think the one show I watched about Burgess when he had um, Doug Mountjoy after Mountjoy had his uh, 145, the 81 uh, World Championships against uh, Ray Reardon. Which film shot Jake Gyllenhaal to fame? Larry Lito, Gary Blumo, Donnie Darko, Barry Brown. That'd be Donnie Darko. What star is Chief Inspector Tom Barnaby in the ITV drama series Midsummer Murders? Jack Dissels, Joe Brambles, Jim Thorns, John Nettles. That'd be John Nettles. You're right. Well done. It's the right answer. <laughs> Let's get you up to five hundred pounds with question number four. This single is kind of referred to as the hardest working man in. America, Detroit, history, show business. The late James Brown, the hardest working man in show business. Very well played, that's absolutely correct. Well, this is the last chance that you can leave with nothing. Please don't do that. Here comes question five. Who that song? Which nineteen seventy five film star Warren Beatty and Julie Christie? Dandruff, conditioner, shampoo. Here, that'd be shampoo. Well done. You've arrived safely at the first milestone. What it really could be going much better for you. Five correct answers, one thousand pounds in the bank, and all your lifelines intact. And we're going to give you another one. Our brand new switch lifeline, which you can use once in a game to swap your question for another. And with all those lifelines, getting you to two thousand pounds really is looking good. Have a look at the next question, which has a treat for getting this far, and it's of style. We'll feature a special motion video, sound clip, or a brand new picture. Okay. With which year did this band record the 1981 single "Under Pressure"? David Bowie, Elton John, Paul McCartney, Phil Collins. Quit David Bowie's "Under Pressure." Yeah. In my opinion, uh, the best song Queen ever did. Very well done. You get to touch any of your lifelines, and a correct answer here will win you £4,000. Lots of luck. Here comes the question. Does it E stand in the media abbreviation ENG? Electronic, elementary, electric, Electron. That'd be electronic. You had two thousand pounds, and your correct answer means you doubled the money to four thousand. Well done. You've arrived safely at the first milestone. Let's get you up to five hundred pounds, and all four of your lifelines intact. You are three questions away from the next milestone. The first of those questions is worth eight thousand pounds. Rewards were handed out to the spoofed celebrities on Noel's house party. Fulgias, Hadjas, Beaches, Gachas. It'd be Gachas. Your four thousand pounds has just become eight thousand pounds. Which well. is Noel Edmonds actually hosting Noel's house party. Things are getting a little more serious now. Sixteen thousand pounds is a huge amount of money, and that's how much you can win by giving me a correct answer to question number nine. 
As the money goes up, the drops also get bigger. You can lose £7,000 if you get me the wrong answer. So think carefully before you give me your final answer. Had Christmas UK number one album in 2001, 2002, and 2004. Robbie Williams, Oasis, Cliff Richard, Elton John. That'd be Robbie Williams. So you've given me your final answer, and it's absolutely correct. You just won sixteen thousand pounds. Terrific performance from you so far. Nine correct answers, and you've not yet had to use any of your lifeline. You're either very clever or very the former on um, Chris. Correct answer, you'll guarantee yourself £32,000. I don't forget how big the drop back to the previous milestone is. A wrong answer would lose you £15,000. Okay. Which of course wrote the novel The Maid of Button? David Dimbleby? Ludovic Kennedy, Melvin Bragg, Clive James. That'd be Melvin Bragg. Well, this is a huge moment for your correct answer will guarantee you 32,000. Is that sure where Clive Patchness is? Lots of people. Don't bring Clive James to this. No, I meant Clive Anderson. <laughs> that whole scene from the world's worst uh, Dean the Pop on the telly from the uh, UK or something. We always get to be, especially Tony Salatory. Now that you've passed another of our milestones, we're going to reward you with another of our special questions. It'll contain either a video, a sound clip, or a picture. Hopefully, okay. we'll see you on your way to £64,000. Here it comes. Okay. What's the title of the Royal Disco Fantasy novel this person started in 1980? Valhalla, Olympus, Xanadu, Babylon. Rest in peace, Living and John. It was Xanadu. You had <laughs> to be honest, in my opinion, it was a pretty terrible musical, but the soundtrack was actually pretty good. Newton John had a hand for the, uh, the first half, then the Electro Orchestra had a second half, and Elo, the second half of the album with Elo is a fantastic job. £125,000 is a lot of money, and it's what I could be giving you if you can give me the right answer to the next question. You have to remember that you could lose the 32,000. You have just one if you give me the wrong answer to this next question. So think carefully. Lots of luck. Who produced this singer's 1991 debut solo album? Trevor Horn, Pete Waterman, William Orbit, Steve Lillywhite. Trevor Horn produced Seal's debut album. Well, you give me a final answer. There's no going back now at all. I'm sorry, but I'm ripping up your birth certificate. Yeah, Trevor Horn might be, well, now as Bruce Ross lead singer for the Buggles, he did a um, video killed the radio star, and Horn does a good job as the lead vocalist in that song. Right, let's look at where we are. If you give me a correct answer to the next question, you will win a quarter of a million pounds, but if you give me a wrong answer, you will lose 93,000 pounds. Let's make sure that does not happen. Have a look at your next Okay. Who longer established did this person attend from the age of six? Science Institute, Military Academy, Opera School, Cookery College. Jackie Chan attended Opera School. This is getting serious now. You've just decided to play our question for a quarter of a million pounds. And you've given me the right answer. You're yeah, he. Yeah, Jackie Chan is actually a pretty good singer. She's released a couple albums, actually, as well. So, three straight. Singer things. So it's Living in John, Seal, and Jackie Chan. Things couldn't be going <laughs> You just keep giving me the right answer, and I keep handing you bigger and bigger sums of money. And there is even more where that came from. Starting with a virtual check for £500,000, but only if you can find me the right answer to this question coming up. Remember, you still haven't used all your lifelines, which may come in very handy. Okay. <laughs> Which entertainment company was founded by Guy Lali Bate, Ballet Rambert, Ballet Biarritz, Cirque du Soleil, Dieter Gingaro? He founded the Cirque du Soleil uh, company. You had a quarter of a million pounds. You now have half a million. Yeah. Yeah, Liberty was also a um, 
poker player, actually. Peter Cole episodes of High Stakes Poker. And even did the uh, million one for one drop of that, which was the uh, richest poker event in history, I believe. You have a real chance here to own the virtual million. It's a rare thing to be asking a million pound question when you haven't used all your lifelines. But that is the enviable position that you are in at this moment. So enjoy it. I've got everything crossed. We wish you the very best of luck. Here comes your final question. All right. It's the moment of truth. In the film Dodgeball, which team does this man's character coach? Team Blitzkrieg, Lumberjacks, Skills That Kills, Average Shows. David House House character coaches Team Blitzkrieg. What a brave player. You've played the million pound question and there's now no going back, even though you did have the chance to walk away with a guaranteed half a million quid. I can tell you that by taking that chance, you will now be walking away with one million pounds. You are a winner! <laughs> Incredibly well done. Not only have you won a virtual million, but you now have the chance to win a large, real cash prize in our exclusive text draw just by following the details on the next screen. <sighs> Thanks for playing. Who wants to be a millionaire? And lots of luck if you've entered our cash prize draw. Okay. Thanks for watching.